students, this is Non-Flowering Plants, and today we're going to go over the pine life cycle. The pine life cycle is different from the cycad life cycle because it has siphonogamy, which means sex through a tube. There are no swimming sperm in the pine life cycle. Let's go over the overview. So we'll start with a seed. That seed then disperses. It grows up to be the trees that we all know and love. They make female cones and male cones. On the female cones, there are ovules. The male cones make pollen grains. The pollen grains get dumped in the air. They waft around a great deal. A very lucky pollen grain then lands next to an ovule, and uh, that's called pollination. And eventually, you get fertilization, where the sperm nuclei are deposited next to the egg, and they fuse. But pollination is separate from fertilization. And then, of course, that goes on and makes a seed, which takes some more time. OK, so let's go in more detail. Here we have a seed. That seed disperses. It grows up to be a young sporophyte. Uh, and then years and years go by, and it makes a tree, which is also a sporophyte. And it makes female strobili. And on that female strobilus, there'll be lots of ovules. If we look at one of those ovules in detail, it's on a scale. That scale is subtended by a bract. The ovule consists of an integument, uh, and inside of the integument is the nucellus, that's nutritive tissue, and inside of the nucellus is a sporocyte. The uh, ovule has a hole at one end called the micropyle, and the nucellus secretes a fluid through the micropyle, the pollination drop, which picks up pollen grains, and then as it shrinks, it pulls the pollen grains in through the micropyle. Let's go back to a tree, and this time we'll focus on the male strobili. The male strobili consists of a series of microsporophylls, and those microsporophylls have microsporangia on them. Each microsporangium has lots and likes of microsporocytes in them. And those microsporocytes undergo meiosis and make microspores. The microspores, of course, grow up to be microgametophytes. And the microgametophytes we call pollen grains. So a pollen grain is the same as a microgametophyte. If we look at it more carefully, it has a couple prothallial cells. Those are the last vestiges of the vegetative gametophyte. There's a generative cell and a tube cell. These pollen grains blow around in the wind, and uh, some of them end up on pollination drops, and that's called pollination. After the pollen grains are inside the micropylar chamber, then they grow pollen tubes. And here's a pollen tube. And then there's two sperm nuclei that are coming down that pollen tube, and they don't have flagellae. Now, this whole process takes quite a bit of time, and the sporocyte, the megasporocyte, has not yet undergone meiosis. So that's the next thing that will happen. It will make four megaspores. Those megaspores uh, will fade except for one, leaving a functional megaspore. That functional megaspore will then undergo lots of mitotic divisions and make a megagametophyte. The megagametophyte is the tissue of the pine nut. So here's an egg inside of a megagametophyte. There's also some neck cells. And then the pollen tubes are growing through the nacellus towards that egg. They will then release the sperm nuclei, and the sperm nuclei will fuse with the egg at fertilization, which happens sometime after pollination. That makes a zygote, and then they still have to grow a while. So the uh, zygote is growing and growing, and it makes an embryo. And that embryo is inside of a megagametophyte, and the megagametophyte is inside of the mother sporophyte's seed coat, which has a wing in many pine trees. So it's a two-end structure inside of a one-end structure inside of a two-in structure. And that is all that I have to say about that.